Well, on Saturday, Sunday, actually Friday, Saturday, so all the time, you'll see a lot of Packers fans wearing cheese heads. This morning, we're showing you how easy it is to actually make your own cheese at home. Joining us this morning is Steve Shapson, a.k.a. The Cheesemaker from thecheesemaker.com. Good morning to you. Hello, nice so you do, this all started as a hobby oh, just over a decade ago? About 11 said. years ago, I started uh, making homemade cheese, and camembert was my first cheese. Kind and of just by accident, just... Right, by accident. After Before that, I had no idea that you could actually make this kind of gourmet cheese, and and it's been great after that. This is fascinating to me because you were saying that cheese is kind of gaining respect now. It's becoming a popular hobby. Right. Cheese is the new beer. Like craft brewing was maybe uh, 15, 20 years ago. Okay. Cheese has gained a lot of respect other than cheddar and the regular cheeses. There's a lot of gourmet cheeses out there, a lot of artisan cheeses that people are making in their homes. Uh -huh. And a lot of those people go on to become artisan cheese makers. So yeah. it's, it's gained a lot more respect and it's easy to do and the, the and why world. wouldn't you want to make cheese? This sounds exactly. fabulous. In Wisconsin. Uh, tell us a little bit about the process here, because you said actually a lot of this stuff people might already have in their homes. Right, most of the equipment you're going to have at home okay. to make cheese, other than some cultures and rennet. You'll have like some tubes or molds or containers, okay. spoons, cutters. Uh, so it's not a difficult process. Okay, not a diff and not too time consuming. Not too time consuming. Within about two, about two hours, you have the cheese molded out and coagulated and then you can start cutting the curds and, and molding the cheese. And we brought some various cheeses here with a little bit of a Packer theme. I know, here. I love this. Tell us what this is. Well, these are both mascarpone. Mascarpone is basically heavy cream that's mm -hmm. heated to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you add tartaric acid. So it's a great little dessert cheese. And then here we have um, ricotta. Ricotta is actually a byproduct of cheese. Making process means to recook or cook twice. Uh, pistachio, wasabi, and ricotta. The Packer theme Packer there, theme very green. nice. Yeah. And then we have the gold over here with ricotta and pineapple. Now, are there certain cheeses that are harder to make than others? Right. The harder cheeses would be like the Greer and the Parmesan cheeses. Okay. Those take months and months, if not years, of aging. Okay. So not everyone's going to have the patience to, to stand by that. So what do you start with? What would somebody at home Well, would be? I started with Camembert Brie, which I thought was a really hard cheese to make. Yeah. I had no idea until I was introduced to it by a customer. And I found that it was actually a fairly easy cheese to make, and, and your friends love it. How neat. All right, thecheesemaker.com is Steve's website. People have, there's recipes there, right? Ways to recipes, get involved. Recipes, workshops, All equipment. Right. Very cool. Thecheesemaker.com. Interesting. Thanks for being here this morning. You're welcome. Thank All you. Right.